Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hello, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses. I'm back with another message. This is going to be a channel message reading for you guys, okay? I'm just going to give to you guys what I have written down, what messages I received. Okay, when I started tapping into this energy, I, I heard spirits say, no justice, no peace, okay? So... Until you receive justice, until you receive what's owed to you, Aries, until you receive the recognition, until until uh, a certain group of people is dismantled, there's not going to be any peace, okay? There's not going to be no peace for the people that was trying to um, block you, trying to get you caught up in the justice system, that was lying on you, that was fabricating things on you, that was projecting towards you. No peace for these individuals. No justice, no peace. You guys are standing up for what you believe in. No longer being pushed around. No longer letting people push you around. Tell you what to do. Make their judgment on you. Okay, you're reinventing yourself right now. You're pulling back your power and energy. And you're just going into your isolation mode or uh, hermit mode. And you're basically focusing on what's important right now because you see the truth. Somebody here, you have the gift of seeing. The, the, I heard the eye of the tiger. So basically, you have the eye of the tiger. You can see through uh, someone's dark energy, someone's dark um, aura. You can see when you look in someone's eyes, you can see if that person embodies light or darkness. You can see through the windows of the soul, through someone's eyes. You have a gift of sight. You can foresee things that are going to happen. You can predict something. I also heard the prophecy. So the prophecy, I believe that's a movie. That's a movie that was that was made years ago, and I believe I don't know if Tom Cruise is in that movie, um, but it's the prophecy with Archangel Gabriel. Okay, you were chosen. You were chosen to expose some sort of of work that was being done on you and others, or you were chosen to break some sort of generation generational curse. This karmic is facing God's wrath here. Um, and it's almost like the fallen angels, I heard. The fallen angels were jealous of God's love for mankind. Okay, so the reason why the angels rebelled against God in the first place is because they were envious and jealous of, of the love that God had for mankind, the unconditional love that God had for mankind, the fact that, you know, we were created with souls. So there's a group of karmics in your energy, around your energy, that are just envious. They're resentful. They're bitter because God chose you. Okay, to uh, have these gifts. God chose you to do something and come out of the ashes like the phoenix rising. Okay, now a group of people are envious or upset because they have, they've been working with some demonic energies or they're under demonic possession. The book of Hebrews is significant. So there's messages in the book of Hebrews regarding this time on earth. The prophecy, this was prophesied, what is happening right now in our lives. Archangel Gabriel is working closely with you. You were destined to reach, um, you guys were destined to reach a goal. You were destined to uh, receive something or you were destined to um, reach masses of people with your prophecies, your knowledge, or your healing energies or powers or techniques. That's a specific message for someone watching. This was your purpose. And then I heard the Lord of the Flies. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I don't know if that's a movie or what that stands for, but the Lord of the Flies. And then I heard flies and then bugs. And so you guys, somebody watching this video, you could be seeing flies. All of a sudden, there's a fly in your space, in your home, or your car, or your office. All of a sudden, you're, you, you see this fly, and, and it just gives you a bad feeling when you see this fly or this bug or the spider. Okay, save your home, save your space, save your workplace or your car, wherever you're seeing this fly or this bug. Somebody's sending like a spiritual spy into your space to spy on you. Okay, I heard the men in black, so something to do with a man dressed in black spying on you or someone um, dressed in black or the men in black are real. Okay, so the men in black. I also heard the um, Christians are being investigated, okay, for their uh, practices or their beliefs. I, I heard that as well. The church uh, or the Christians are being um, investigated for some sort of, of spiritual practices that, that, you know, are some inhumane practices. I'm not, I don't know what's going on, but the Christians here, they're under the microscope for some reason. And then I heard the eye of the tiger. Okay. You guys could be seeing an eagle. Like I said, you guys can need a tiger eye crystal. 
someone watching you could have an eagle as a spirit guide and ancestors coming to you in the form of an eagle family wanted to blind you to not believe in your gifts your family wanted to blind you to be ashamed of your gifts or because you have these gifts or you were born with these gifts you've been channeling spirits since you were young your grandfather had these gifts as well so this is what your family didn't want you to know for someone watching your grandfather also had these gifts okay your father practices the occult or your father practiced the occult and this is something that your father didn't want you to know okay for someone watching this video maybe you didn't get to know your real father you were lied to about who your real father was okay because this father that they told you was your father was practicing the occult and this was an orchestrated plan okay an agenda to put you in a dark path yeah this father figure did things in the dark He's under judgment as well. Then I heard Cinderella. You might have felt like Cinderella in your family. You were outcasted by these family members or your siblings. Okay? You had to do all the hard work in this family. Never got um, the love you needed. Never um, was valued by your mother figure or somebody here. You could have had a wicked stepmother. That's what I heard. Sudden opportunity to move or relocate somebody here. You need to get out of this mother's home or this. You need to get out of this space where you're at because you're surrounded by a karmic energy. It's like energy vampire, vampiristic energy that's trying to deplete you of energy, keep you stuck, um, make things delayed for you. God is going to give you, gift you with an opportunity to move or relocate to a new home. Pay attention to the signs. Then I heard nosy Rosie. Somebody's name could be Rose or Rosie or somebody's very nosy here. Okay. The Watchers. Then I heard um, watch what you're eating because food is being recalled. Something is being recalled for having poisoning or listeria. Listeria poisoning in the food. Somebody here could be eating something, ate something and got so sick from this food. Food poisoning. You have a lawsuit here. This, this food product has been recalled. Somebody here watching this video, you can have a camera on your property or your home and you're catching somebody strange on your property or your home. You're seeing something in your camera. Pay attention. Somebody watching your ex is driving past your house. This person's having a hard time running into you. You're being protected. This ex-friend or fake-ass friend in the past is communicating with your brother or sister, plotting to give this karmic ex-friend your location to cause conflict. So yeah, this is what's brewing in the background for somebody here. So you might catch somebody on your camera and this person is going to jail because they're trying to threaten you or they're on your property or they're being sent there. They're not even going to make it to your house for somebody else watching. They might not even make it to your house, but for someone else, you're catching someone on camera on your property. Somebody here could be targeting your pets, your animals, or somebody's targeting your pet. Could be a cat, dog, or any other sort of animal. There's nosy neighbors here, the watchers, they're spying on you. Someone could have used your information, okay? Somebody here got pulled over while they were driving, got a traffic ticket, and this family member could have used your information. They gave the cop your information when they got a ticket when they were driving, so they started to set you up for this traffic violation. You could be finding this out. You could be suing this person for using your information. This summons could be coming in the mail. You could be finding out about this. Someone made a foolish choice to invest all their money into a business or a trip. And they're having a major tower. It was a scam. Wow, be mindful out here if you guys ain't getting scammed out here in these streets. And if somebody offered you something and made it seem like something it wasn't and you got scammed. Okay, or this could be somebody else you're dealing with going through this. Somebody here, you could be seeing shadows. Your lights could be flickering. Those are your ancestors or somebody here seeing shadows in your home. And then your lights flicker. Your ancestors are in your home to protect you. Removing these shadows with sage. Protecting your home with a spiritual cleanse. Somebody here, you need to get a dream catcher. You have dream catchers. You might need to cleanse your dream catcher. Somebody here, you have a, you have a specific tattoo. So somebody here it has a tattoo of a snake. And there's some sort of entity or energy that's trying to access you through this portal of a snake tattoo. You might need to cleanse your energy of the snake tattoo. Put some Florida water on it. That's a specific message. 
the sun is changing, okay? Something's happening with our sun, with our solar energy. The magnitude of the sun's um, solar energy is increasing. And I don't know if that could be good or bad for us, for our planet. Some sort of object was seen flying over Alaska and it was shot down by the government. So that, I seen that on a news article. So when Spirit um, showed me that, Spirit said, UFOs are real, they're on Earth. The uh, extraterrestrials are here. That's why I also heard the men in black trying to cover this up for years. And then I heard something about Chick-fil-A. Somebody could be even eating Chick-fil-A. You could be eating Chick-fil-A, but be mindful if you're eating Chick-fil-A. They could be putting something in the food or you could be getting sick from eating Chick-fil-A. Somebody could love eating Chick-fil-A. Okay, and then um, I also got a poem here that I'm going to share with you guys real quick before I end this video reading. I heard Dennis, Denise, Denisha, Tanisha, Caroline, Meredith, Edith, Aaron, Jessica, April. I heard Hennessy, that could be someone's name or nickname or somebody loves to drink Hennessy. Harold. Kia, I heard Kia. Kenya. Nicole, Janice. I heard Jerry or Gerald. I heard Lavert. So Gerald Levert, that's a that's a singer. Somebody here likes Gerald Levert or looks like Gerald Levert or somebody's last name could be Levert or someone's first name could be Gerald. Okay, so let's get the poem. This poem is called New Day. Okay, I heard Mandy, Michael, Michelle. All right, Spirit. Okay, Spirit keeps saying names. I'm trying to read this poem to you guys. So this poem is called A New Day because you guys are experiencing a new day. Today is a new day full of change. Now all my fears are gone and I will remain strong. I let go of the pain and got past all the shame. My Lord Jesus forgave and paved the new way. So now I may walk with confidence. Suddenly my whole life makes sense. Blockages removed, God will get you through. It's a new day full of joy. Enemies can no longer make you weak. I heard the Lord speak. The time is now to take your crown. Stand tall and never back down. Amen. Many blessings, my beautiful Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading. It gave you some sort of clarity. It re resonated in some sort of way. Only take the message that resonates. Leave the rest. I love you guys. If you need a personal, my email is down below. Thank you so much for those of you that um, purchased readings from me and connected with me. I appreciate all your love and your donations. If you guys donated to the channel, may God bless you tenfold. Sending all my love to you guys. Till the next time, loves. Namaste.